Hi friends, back to UNS classes. We are again back with previous year question from biology. Today the question is about adenosine deaminase deficiency. So the question is the adenosine deaminase deficiency results in two. What are the options they have given? Addison disease, dysfunction of immune system, Parkinson's disease and digestive disorder. Right. And you know our routine. We will go to each and every option and finally come to the answer. So first discuss what is Edison disease. Edison disease is nothing but but the insufficient production of steroids from adrenal gland. So where is adrenal gland? Adrenal gland is situated above a kidney. You know adrenal gland right? Adrenal gland is which produces adrenaline also the fright and flight hormone is produced from the medulla of adrenal gland right so that adrenal gland does not produce sufficient amount of steroid hormone it will result in addison disease and the addison disease have many symptoms such as adrenaline crisis which may result in fever convolution hypoglycemia and all the other symptoms are seen in the skin it may result in vitiligo that is the pigmentation is very less white patches on the skin or it may lead to hyperpigmentation it may also lead to low blood pressure weight loss and also gastrointestinal problems such as digestion it won't be having proper digestion that is digestive disorders will also be seen in addison diseases right now the next option was adenosine deaminase. Let's discuss what is adenosine deaminase. What is adenosine deaminase? Adenosine deaminase is an autosomal recessive disorder. You know what is autosomal recessive? We have discussed in sickle cell anemia. When we have both the alleles, when we have the two copies of the allele only, this trait will be seen in a population. So, this is an autosomal recessive disorder. So, when if the mother is also a carrier and the father is also a carrier, in sickle cell anemia question, there was a question when mother and father is a carrier, what is the chance that the progeny will get the disease or he will show the trait, right? Here the trait is, here the trait is adenosine deaminase, the problem with adenose production of adenosine deaminase enzyme. So, there are chances of 25 percentage of the kids will get adenosine deaminase deficiency so what is the symptom symptom is ads kid ads kid means adenosine deaminase severe combined immunodeficiency severe combined immunodeficiency what is it is immunodeficiency right immunodeficiency means it will not have a proper immune system, right? The immunity will be low, okay? I think you got the point, the answer of the question, right? So, what will happen? There will be very low immunity. And why there is a deficiency of adenosine deaminase? Because there is a mutation in chromosome number 20. And remember, this is an autosomal recessive trait so both the alleles when two copies of the defective gene is there only it will be shown in the population now next option was parkinson's disease right what is parkinson parkinson is nothing but it's a disorder seen in nervous system disorder in the nervous system which affects our brain Some of the symptoms are tight muscles, tight muscles are having problem in movement, tremors, tremors and all. Okay, so Parkinson's disease which is related to the nervous system. Now let's go back to the question. So here the question is, what are the symptoms if we have adenosine deaminase or we have the deficiency of adenosine deaminase, right? So, let's check the option now. The first option is Edison disease. This is wrong because Edison disease is caused due to the insufficient production of steroids from adrenal gland. Now, the second option is dysfunction of the immune system. See, 
when we have a mutation in adenosine deaminase gene in the chromosome number 20 what is the symptom skid Alain? what is skid skid means acute immunodeficiency right so this is the correct answer now the third option was parkinson disease parkinson disease is nothing but a nervous system disorder or it have a disorder in our nervous system right so it is not related to adenosine deaminase and the fourth option was digestive disorder digestive disorder here we can relate to edison disease because we know that when there is an insufficient secretion of steroid from the adrenal gland there are chances we will have digestive disorders so here the answer is option b hope you got the point thank you for watching have a nice day